All right, well, I'm going to do just initial linkage setup. So I got this kit um, that has the uh, the linkage, the throttle linkage, and then for the dual carbs, and then I have the, the hex bar, and then that is going to wind up mounting between these two. So it's going to look something like this. Um, and what I'm gonna do is go downstairs real quick and look at my current uh, 40 setup because that'll give me some indicators as far as where to basically, you know, how to do just an initial setup. All right, so looking at the linkage setup for the 40s, it looks like um, I put the this guy, which is the little additional tab on the carb, uh, facing to the diagonally in on both. Okay, so then I have the linkage bar here. It looks like this one here kind of points down like that. And then these guys are basically flat out with these things. And then if you look here, I have the little extender and on the left side it has the long one and on the right side it has the shorter one like this okay so that kind of tells me what the setup is here the other thing is this linkage goes into the lower of the two holes here and then i was using the top one for a spring so i'll probably will do the same but maybe with a slightly better looking setup all right Go up and see what I can do on the new one. All right, I'm gonna check out this uh, kit. What I've got for the linkage, and uh, I know exactly how it needs to be set up now from the um, one that is uh, already on there downstairs. So this one. Now this is the throttle. And this can kind of go on any which way because you just have to make the rest of it correct relative speaking. So that's going to go like that. And then there is one of these little Allen wrench things here that will hold that in place. Just get that started in there. And then this going to be it's going to hold the throttle like that okay so then I have the two things that hold it onto the carb and they have a kind of a holder kind of on the front and then you tighten it down in order to so that basically goes let's see closer in so it's gonna go on the lower of the uh, carb screws here. Hopefully that's the right size, which it is. Just screw that in there. And again, that's going to be held by this other nut here so that I get the right width. And then I've got the other one. And that's going to go on the lower one here. Looks great. So I, I put these, just to mock it up, I put the uh, carbs together, but they don't have the um, main jets in them yet. So I'm waiting on the new uh, main jet and air jets to show up. And then, and then I will uh, kind of finalize everything there. For the time being, I'm just kind of getting everything partially mocked up. 
I'm waiting for the heads and the exhaust. And those should all come within about two, within a week to two weeks. Heads should come in about two weeks. The exhaust is coming from Germany from uh, CSP, the Python, the 5 8s all around. It's actually 42 millimeter all around. 42 millimeter heater boxes, 42 millimeter exhaust for that Python. All right, so that will get, so there are springs, and this is going to be set up, it's gonna look like this. Just to kind of mock this up a little bit. What? So, you can see how this looks. All right, this is gonna be my throttle linkage, and then, what I've got to do is set up my um, let's see, do this like this. It's visible. I need so these are gonna be the two little Allen bolt holders. Stuff in here, I don't want to lose. So, springs are critical. All right, so these both have the little holders. I have to get the Allen wrench in order to tighten that up any more than that. But basically, what's going to happen is this one is going to be roughly like this. So let's see. Like this. Okay. So, and then the other one going to be kind of like this. So I'm going to put the, um, the Allen bolt things I'm going to put in the top where they're reachable. So that one goes in there. And this one in here. Okay, so that's gonna go there. I said, but these guys will fit into the carb uh, thing here with the springs on it. So let's just mock that up there. It's gonna look roughly like that. I'm probably gonna do the same thing where I put a little hole in here and I put a spring that pulls it back here. That way I don't have to do any spring in here. This just gets free flow. Uh, from the throttle cable to the roller tube, which actually seems to work really well. Kind of pulls it like this. Uh, so there were a couple other things that I have to do here. So I want to keep track of these springs because these springs are what are going to go in here. So. All right, so something that I did forget is that on each one of these guys, you put on a locking bolt underneath it so that you can, ah, oh, that fits great, okay. I think they are directional. So I'm gonna put that one on there. And on this one, There's one set of threads each direction. I get about a one 
one of these two should fit, but I don't know which one. Okay, that one's on. And this one here. I said I'm going to have to do a ton of adjusting on this later. But the initial assembly is also good to get in. Alright, so I got the linkages on both sides with my uh, extenders. The last step here is to put on these ones onto the actual carbs. These are my the little levers. So the way that's going to look is Gonna go on it's gonna basically look like this you go on here tilt to that side that way when this thing is up this thing is going to then link to this just like this Likewise, on the other side, I've got this one. It's going to go into the left so that this one is going to link in just like that. But I have to undo these bolts here with the little metal uh, bendy piece and get those on there. So I'll do that right now. Well, I wound up just grabbing this with the little mini vice grips here and then just turning this. Basically what I'm doing is taking this guy off. And there's this little washer which has the metal flap that keeps it from keeps that from turning. Now this guy Got to go in diagonally like this. And it's going to go in this direction. Just like that. You see that? It's like this. Okay. And once I've got that in there, I'm going to put this little flap washer again. And this thing and reassemble it. All right, now I should be able to just tighten this one up. Tighten it just so that the flap uh, can perfectly be bent. And then I'm just going to take this guy and bend it back up. So that's perfect. So now, what that allows me to do is, when this linkage is set up, and this is up like this, and then this guy, with this little bolt, 
is actually going to go right into there. So that it looks just like this. Okay, good. So now I just have to do this side. All right, so I got this. Take this bolt off here. Take off the little bendy lock washer. Now, the way this is gonna look, this one has to tilt in this way. So it's gonna go just like this. And we're gonna put this lock washer back on. which side that's on. It's on the inside on the other one, so I'll just do it symmetrical. And then, tighten this guy back up. So, let's see. Pretty good. So now I just have to bend the, uh, the metal flat back up. Okay, that'll prevent it from being undone. And now I have the other one basically all set up for for the linkage. So let's just put this here with the mock-up. So you can see, and then this side, which has the shorter extender here, is going to go in this one. And the idea being that when you push on, when you pull on the throttle cable, you're going to pull this guy down. And it's going to push this in like this. Okay, so that should be all set up. In terms of just initial mock-up, I probably need to get the Allen wrench here and get these all snugged up now. I think, you know, you want to have these things be more, be kind of as vertical as possible, so push this thing out so that it's more or less vertical. Push this one out so that it's more or less vertical. This thing in the middle, and you wind up looking like this. Looking like this. That's more than vertical, but... All right.